the Afghan armed forces were the military forces of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. They consisted of the Afghan National Army and the Afghan Air Force. Being a landlocked country, Afghanistan did not have a navy. The President of Afghanistan was the Commander-in-Chief of the Afghan Armed Forces, who were administratively controlled through the Ministry of Defense. They had major bases and small outposts all across Afghanistan, including in the provinces of Badakhshan, Balk, Helmand, Herat, Kabul, Kandahar, Nangarhar and Parvin, as well as in the cities of Kunduz, Ghazni, Gardez, Khost, Faizabad, Farah and Zaranj. The Afghan armed forces originated in 1709 when the Hotaki dynasty was established in Kandahar, followed by the Durrani Empire. The Afghan military was reorganized with assistance from the British in 1880, when the country was ruled by Amir Abdur Rahman Khan. It was modernized during King Amanullah Khan's rule in the early 20th century, and then during King Zahir Shah's 40-year rule. From 1978 to 1992, the Soviet-backed Afghan armed forces engaged in heavy fighting with the multinational Mujahideen, groups who were then backed by the United States, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan and others. After President Najibullah's resignation in 1992 and the end of Soviet support, the Afghan military dissolved into portions controlled by different factions. This era was followed by the Taliban regime, whose leaders were trained and influenced by the Pakistan armed forces. After the removal of the Taliban regime in late 2001 and the formation of the Afghan interim administration, the Afghan armed forces began reorganizing again. They were trained by NATO member states, primarily by the United States. The Afghan armed forces operated independently but received some air support from the US Air Force. As a major non-NATO ally, Afghanistan continued to receive billions of dollars in military assistance from the United States up until its dissolution. The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan's armed forces collapsed after the Taliban offensive in summer 2021, following the fall of Kabul into the control of the Taliban and President Ashraf Ghani fleeing the country. The Islamic Republic's armed forces de facto ceased to exist. No clear data has emerged about the Taliban's new armed forces. Afghans have served in the militaries of the Ghaznavids, Mughals and the Persian army. The current Afghan military traces its origin to the early 18th century when the Hotaki dynasty rose to power in Kandahar and defeated the Persian Safavid Empire at the Battle of Gulnabad in 1722. The sun had just appeared on the horizon when the armies began to observe each other with that curiosity so natural on these dreadful occasions. The Persian army just come out of the capital, being composed of whatever was most brilliant at court. seemed as if it had been formed rather to make a show than to fight the riches and variety of their arms and vestments the beauty of their horses the gold and precious stones with which some of their harnesses were covered and the richness of their tents contributed to render the persian camp very pompous and magnificent on the other side there was a much smaller body of soldiers disfigured with fatigue and the scorching heat of the sun Their clothes were so ragged and torn in so long a march that they were scarce sufficient to cover them from the weather and their horses being adorned with only leather and brass there was nothing glittering about them but their spears and sabers when Ahmad Shah Durrani formed the Durrani Empire in 1747 his Afghan army fought a number of wars in the Punjab region of Hindustan during the 18th to the 19th century One of the famous battles was the 1761 Battle of Panipat in which the Afghans invaded and won a Pirak victory against the Maratha Empire. The Afghans then engaged multiple wars with the Sikh Empire. The Afghan Sikh War saw major territorial losses for the Afghans. During the First Anglo-Afghan War, British India invaded Afghanistan in 1838 but withdrew in 1842. During the three years a number of battles took place in different parts of Afghanistan. The first organized army of Afghanistan was established after the Second Anglo-Afghan War in 1880, when the nation was ruled by Amir Abdur Rahman Khan. Traditionally, Afghan governments relied on three military institutions, the regular army, tribal levies, 
and community militias. The regular army was sustained by the state and commanded by government leaders. The tribal or regional levies, irregular forces, had part-time soldiers provided by tribal or regional chieftains. The chiefs received tax breaks, land ownership, cash payments, or other privileges in return. The community militia included all available able-bodied members of the community, mobilized to fight, probably only in exceptional circumstances, for common causes under community leaders. Combining these three institutions created a formidable.